Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Let's cut straight to the point here. I have the DJI V2 goggles here, and uh, this is my first time using these goggles and getting these and stuff. And so there were some frustrating things. These are just some problems that I was having. So I was not able to update the, the firmware. Um, and it turns out you can't do that on a Mac, at least not right now. So I had to use a PC uh, running uh, Windows. So finally got out this old laptop old PC laptop got the goggles connected they're turned on connecting it through the uh, USB cable and we got it connected uh, and I downloaded the firmware a 100% yay my Mac is a uh, MacBook Pro 2018 running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.2.2 and so I was able to um, to activate the goggles and I think I could even update the air unit uh, as well as activate it on the Mac but trying to update to the latest uh, firmware version for the goggles which I'll put up here on the screen I was not able to do that on the Mac so that was really frustrating it took me a little while to figure that out I probably should have thought of that sooner so next up if you are not able to get the record button working like if you're able to you know you have your goggles connected to, uh, you know, work, working with the air unit, you can see stuff, but you can't get the actual record button working. What you need to do is go into the goggle, the main settings, and then go under recording. And then where it says recording, uh, or it says take off recording or REC, you want to turn that off. So switch that to off because as it's set, I guess it's set so that if you when you arm the quad, although I'm not sure if that's only for like DJI FPV or if it's for, I guess it's, I guess it would be for the other thing, but I don't want that because I want to have control over when it's recording and not. So you turn that off and then that little red button on the top of the goggles will actually start doing something. Side note, I've been ha having some issues with um, getting the air unit to record or to like continually record. Uh, Cause like in flight, it'll say like, uh, it'll say, what does it say? It says like air unit slow or recording slow or something, something like that. I think that's what it said. And it's definitely not low uh, storage space or anything. These cards, I use them all the time in my GoPros and that sort of thing. So definitely not a problem with the card. At least it shouldn't be. Um, and the other thing is if you leave the air unit on while it's on the bench for a while and it's not cooling off, it could overheat. And then it will say, I think it says in the goggle low power mode, um, unable to record or something like that. So that's kind of uh, normal because it just overheats. So that's kind of a bummer, but um, I'm pretty sure it'll still record DVR, which it should because that's separate. Um, okay, next thing, Betaflight OSD. Now, basically the you, you can't get the full Betaflight OSD uh, like you can in an analog uh, uh, video system yet at least. So right now, um, if you want to use some of the Betaflight OSD features, uh, here are th some things that you need to do and some things that you need to check if it's not working for you. So first of all, in the goggles, go into the settings, go in under display, and then uh, select custom OSD on. So you want to turn that on and then double check your wiring to your flight controller. This is what was happening with me. Uh, the video was working, but the OSD was not working and I couldn't figure out what's going on. Turns out I had my white and gray wires, the RX and TX wires mixed up. So um, make sure that they are on the same UART pads. So for example, I was using, I think uh, R5 and uh, T5 or RX, RX5 and TX5. And you want the white one to be on the TX and the gray one to be on the RX. And in beta flight, so once you go into beta flight, uh, under the, um, under the uh, ports tab, turn on MSP configuration. I think that's what it says, MSP configuration for the UART that you're using with the air unit. Um, so that's, that's another thing you got to check. The other thing is uh, also if you can't get to the OSD like uh, feature on the or little, uh, little tab on the side of the men, uh, beta flight menu, make sure you just go into configuration and enable OSD, but I think it's almost always enabled. Um, and then just keep in mind when you go to the OSD section, not all options work for me. I think, um, of the options that I wanted to work, I think only voltage and craft name worked. So, I mean, voltage is going to be probably most important. And then 
you know, next would be the RSSI or the LQ, the link quality. Um, and so I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. I, I think Joshua Bardwell has a video on how to set up the LQ for um, Crossfire. And so that's what I've got. I just, I'm just getting started with Crossfire as well. So I need to figure out how to do that. But that's how you would get your OSD working. Um, I'll leave a link to that video about the LQ down in the description of this video. All right, I think that's it. If this was helpful, let me know guys, if you have other weird problems or little quirks and you're having trouble getting your goggles set up, leave a comment down below. Or if you have answers to common problems, leave those in the comments below as well. Oh, by the way, I do just want to go on record saying that I still don't like how DJI does a lot of things. It's kind of one of those things that's like, you, 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 have, you have to give them credit where they're due in the sense that this is the best technology FPV has ever had. Uh, on the other hand, I, I actually hate the form factor of the goggles. The fit is horrendous. It's like a joke. And I don't like that I have to activate and you know give all this information to DJI just to use this product that I paid a bunch of money for. Okay. But then it's like, well, again, it's, it's the best in the game. So that's how it is for now, I guess. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, stay flying, and I will see you next time.